In the last video, we began our exploration of this abandoned prison hospital that was once a tuberculosis sanatorium. Some of the most interesting discoveries still lie ahead of us though. Join as we continue our explore. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash proper people. Third floor restricted area. This might be a full medical ward. Inmates allowed only on scheduled appointment. This cabinet makes me feel like this is an old surgical ward. There's an autoclave in here. An old looking autoclave. This definitely could have been an old surgical area then. But Look I don't think it sink. was anymore. By the time it closed. Look at this sink. That light, that looks so old. Yeah. This is number three too. Yeah. Lefty Lucy. There it goes. They probably still used this in 2008 when it closed for whatever dial dialysis equipment they had. Because it's still really smooth how that lock opened and closed. Such, it's such an old looking autoclave. They don't make them like this anymore. This definitely feels surgical ward. It feels just like you'd have operating rooms back here. Which I bet that's what these were. You can see a spot on the ceiling where there's probably surgical lights. There's all these patches. That's where surgical lights would have been. Now it's just full of these chairs. It's a very nice hospital so far. I'm enjoying exploring it. Probably the best hospital we've done in a while. Got a powered wheelchair. Yeah. Oh shit, look over here. Dude, where are the freaking heroin hacks when you need them? Yeah. Syringes. In box. Check this out. Yeah. This thing's stocked. Look Thank at all you. these. These are IV needles, right? Yeah, looks like it. Cath oh, catheter needles. Oh, ooh. ooh. That sucks. An inhaler. Yeah, I'll be real. You know what this place really makes me feel like? What? Like we're in The Walking Dead, just scavenging for materials. Post mortem kit, adult size. Oh, wow. well, more, not too far then. It's a literal it's body, a body bag. bag with ties to strap it on the arms and legs. Who's going in one? Let's let's put Brian in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 
Oh, and the autoclaves are filled with stuff. Two of them. So this is one, two, and then the third one was in the other room. These are much newer. It's more sterile water. Steam indicator sheet. Biological indicators. Sterile water. Here's all record books. Oh shit. 1931. Nurses graduated from the Carolina Sanitarium School of Nursing. 1930. And their name, last known hospital address, date. These are records from the 30s. Of employees or patients? Employees. employees. Students like original sanitarium training. records. White students who did not complete training. This one right here says 1982, though. Okay. These are all 30s and 40s, though. Unless it's the birth date. Yeah, read the spine. The admission date. Go to the spine. Uh, admission date. Because this one says 1982. That one says 1949 though, so it's a mix of yeah, I think very different ages. I think that's what this is from. Okay, so we're back in the main hallway. Okay. There's a dental office right here. Or x-ray maybe? Um, this looks like a dentist chair. Uh, yeah. But it could be dental x-rays, so that's what it's yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dental x-rays. X -ray. must be closed for x-ray exposures. That's probably what was Do mounted. Do not put fingers in your Mounted mouth. right here, dental x-ray equipment. Another wheelchair. There must be some kind of gravitational field anomaly in this hallway <laughs> that just pulls all the wheelchairs here right into the center. Germicidal lights. Someone left them on. Oh yeah, it goes up to the roof there. More beds and furniture. This place is really well stocked. Polaroid? Yeah, I think it works. What if an explorer left it there? <laughs> it's a Sun 600, that's what we used before we got the SX-70. It's very wet. Yeah, it's probably screwed. It's oh, that's old film, so this is definitely not left no, here. Not. You can't tell. Look at the sticker on the bottom. This is the film. That's oh, the that's the film, camera. okay. This is old, this is probably left from the hospital. Yep. Imagine taking a Polaroid of the Polaroid. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Do you think it's function? There's no film in it. I don't have 600 film. This looks like a more secure wing. Here's all the buttons to control the gates. It's like a two-stage door lock. You open one door, go in here, close that, and open the next. Bars on every window. This is some heavy decay right here.
looks like it cracked and then started peeling around it. Oh, there's more over here. Oh. Biology and biochemistry. They had this hand... I love the hand-painted doors. And they had it before they cut a hole for the window. Yeah. And they didn't even cover it up. They just put exam room right over it. Or EKG room. Wow. Dude, this is an awesome lab, actually. Holy cow. Oh, wow. I'll be back. The decay is great. I mean, there's not much left, but it looks cool. No, but I just love the look and the, the decay. There's more back here. It's like twice as big. Oh. <laughs> it's like four times as big. <laughs> Five times, maybe. What are these? Some I'll chemicals? I have no idea how big this is. I mean, I'll come back and get the details. I'm just going to get an idea of how big this is, and then I'll come back and look at the details. There's a freezer over here. Whoa, there's like four of them around. Yeah. I think that bucket started overfilling a long time ago. And then this one looks like it was being just used for storage. Concrete walls. It's like a fucking dungeon. It's like it's a prison. It's another cold storage. It smells weird in here. Whoa. What is, you know, we found something like this and I think there were feces samples or something. It could be any kind of sample in there. There's a ton up here. There's patient names on them. And where they were sending them to the state lab. Shake one. Syphilis. syphilis. Oh, I'm not going anywhere near that. <laughs> These are syphilis. They all, they are fucking syphilis. All syphilis. Syphilis clinical specimens. Just bags and boxes full of them. Confidential. Oh, boxes that say confidential. And they're full of documents. Every single hospital has these things. Dude, and this is 2009. They're lab, they're lab sheets from patients. That's post HIPAA, too. 2012. Do not destroy before 2012. Packed 2010. Wow. These are patient lab sheets. Just pull one out, for example. This is a mysobacteriology clinical testing report for the person's name. Born 1974. Sample type human. <laughs> Cerebral spinal fluid. Wow. 20, no growth of bacteria. That is insane that this is all just left here. Let's try one more. crazy.
There's a lot of glassware in here. Boxes of them. Little containers. Oh, look at all these test tubes. The whole things of them. All of these are just filled with test tubes. There's a Gomco glass here. It's Pyrex glass. <laughs> yeah. Gomco is the same company that made those vacuum pumps. The other hospital. These look much newer. Yeah. Pyrex. This building's a lot bigger than it seems like from the outside. A lot of rooms. Respiratory therapy. That's what we're going to need after exploring this place. Look at all the mold. Look at these machines in here. This is respiratory care equipment. What was this for? A switch that says CPR only. There's a bunch of tube here. This is probably hooked up to ventilators and breathing equipment. Mark 7A respirator. Whoa. This is a cool area. Super tall ceilings. And these globe lights. It's so out of tune. What? It's so out of tune. <laughs> Close enough. I forget the rest of it. Not bad though. <laughs> Better than what we could do. Yeah. Wow, the library is still stocked full of books. Even more Christmas decorations. Notice, the following are prohibited. Card playing, loud or boisterous talking or laughter, blocking of the door, aisles, etc. Standing or sitting in the hallway. Oh wow. This is so different from the room next to it. Uh, you can smell the wood. Wow, just wood and brick. Some cool texture in here. Even the lights have crosses on them. Definitely need a tripod to get a good shot in here. Oh yeah, here's the actual walls and windows. There's some natural light and coming into this confession And this has the original booth. green paint that you notice underneath all the tan paint. This building definitely appears to be the newest one. We have been on this floor, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the one we started on. Let's see how nasty it's going to be down here. No exit. Not flooded yet. Damn, this is cramped. The elevator car is down here. That is so creepy. Imagine you're just in a normal building, like a hotel or something, and you call the elevator. It opens up and it just looks like this inside. <laughs> that would actually be terrifying. Oh, here's the spiral staircase right here. Oh, really? Yeah, this went up to the kitchen. So this was a delivery bay for all the food that they brought in. And they weigh it right here. Yeah, we're gonna scale. What? Oh, look at these lights. Yeah. Look at this. This thing's old looking. A Burton light fixture. Internal transfer of equipment. Lamp surgical. It's one of those blue tinted lenses. Yeah. Probably because the bulb was warm and the blue just counteracted it to make That's it a exactly white temperature. This is pretty cool. All the prison jumpsuits are in here. Really? Yeah. They look so moldy. All of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's so many. This was the laundry room because there was washers and dryers next door. Green and orange. And white. Probably the different tiers of inmates. Like how... The white was probably hospital gowns. Yeah, probably. But the green and orange are probably different tiers of inmates. Yeah. There's certain things that always look creepy once they're rusty and abandoned. I think these uh, rolling stretchers are definitely one of them. The gurney? Yeah, gurney, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Once they start getting a little bit of decay, they look so creepy. Bubble up. Yeah. This looks like another ambulance way. So. Oh, yeah, look. X ray department. Radiology file room. Control. Dude, there's x-rays hanging up in here. Check this out. September 2003 is when the spine was x-rayed. Oh, here's a machine. Eureka from 1986. There's still the x-ray vest right there. This thing was mostly, if not only, for standing x-rays. You're gonna get all the radiation. 
maxed out. We're in this x-ray wing right here. And just over here, it says there's a morgue. They're not connected, so might be a different floor. That looks like a different floor, possibly. Or no, we go into this hallway, maybe? Yeah, that looks like so. a bigger x-ray room, for sure. This door's open over here. Oh yeah, this is a full size. Looks pretty modern. Yeah, a lot more modern than the building it's in. Mm-hmm. Is there a date on it? The other one was 89. This one's probably like 2000s. Yeah. Are you able to push it back and forth manually? I'm sure. 1994. Older than I thought. Maybe. Try pushing it around. It must be motorized then. Yeah. That rotates for that. These all look like lungs. Do you want to hold some of them up? They all look like chest x-rays. Mm -hmm. The skull with the neck and the shoulders. This is a big one here. lungs again. This place is stocked with Christmas decorations. So this hallway ends here, which means... Oh, these are all x-rays in sealed envelopes. This hallway ends here, which means we have to go up and then over and then back down for the morgue. Wow, yeah, these are filled with x-rays. And of course, Christmas decorations. Wanna go up around? Yeah, right here? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure we've already been down here. We didn't see a morgue, but we'll keep our eyes more peeled this time. It was in like the back corner here somewhere, right? It said it was on the left side. Mm -hmm. This looks nothing like a morgue now. So right here is where the morgue is supposed to be, according to all the maps we've seen. And there's not much left here. The table is like coming off of this. Let's that here. They must have pulled it out at some point. There's a drain in the floor down here too. Everywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna say this was definitely the morgue. Morgue. I know, but that has to be morgue. At this point, we have fully explored the hospital and it was time to head out. Currently, there are no plans to do anything with the building. It will likely continue to sit in decay until its eventual demolition. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. NordVPN offers thousands of servers in over 60 countries with unlimited bandwidth usage, which you can then use to connect to different websites as if you were in different countries. This is perfect if you're traveling internationally or just trying to evade region restrictions. Their service also avoids internet tracking with 256-bit AES encryption and a no data locking policy. This is perfect if you're connecting to open Wi-Fi networks and you want to be extra safe as you never really know how secure those networks are. With their limited time offer that's ending soon, you can get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com properpeople or use the code properpeople at checkout.